Good morning guys! I hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another episode of State of Survival with me, Teddy. And for this video, I am going to cover the event for this once skin event that is a frightful Halloween. So yesterday, a lot of people are already posting this, the, the pre-opening uh, of this event. And as you can see here, we have the Haunted Cemetery, the Lantern Ghost, and then the Undead Tomb are the decorations. The Screaming Demon is the Fring Skin, the Pumpkin Trio, and another one which is pretty similar to that trio but only with one pumpkin on it are the HQ Skins and then the Vampire Coffin as the March Skin. So for this one, we have five different events. We have the Doll of Frank, the Haunted Halloween, the Trick or Treat, the Gift Rush, or the Airdrop Surprise. As usual, you can get the frame skin by buying the $5 pack that is the Storm Demon and the Little Witch. This includes your frame skin, some candies, as well as the Jack o' Lanterns. And then some Speed Ups, Plasma Cores, some resources, and then VIP points. So then for the March skin, of course, you need to top up 30,000 buy cups for you to be able to get the March skin. So how does the skins look like? So this is how the vampire skin, March skin looks like. The HQ skin, which is the Halloween trio. And then they have another one that is a pumpkin castle. Then for the frames, this is how it looks like. The Banshee, the Screaming Demon. We have the following here. The Trigger Treat, the Haunted Halloween, the Gift Rush. The Dowd of Frank and then the Airdrop Supply Surprise and then the new one that they have added here is the Energy Bay. So for the trick and treat, I already made a video for this one and you can see that on the card link or the description below on how you are going to play this. I already covered everything for the trick or treat last time and the ranking is still the same. You have your daily rankings, your event ranking and then your glory ranking. The rewards that you are going to get here it's pretty similar in what they have shown in PDR. Also, the chances for you and how you are going to get are still the same as what they have shown in PDR. So for the Haunted Halloween, you need to collect this pumpkin. And you can get that pumpkin from Gift Rush, from Delta Frank, and then the Airdrop Supply. So there is no Infected here because the Infected is replaced by the Trick or Treat gameplay. The Halloween event, they actually increase the rewards that you can get here. And most of them are plasma cores as well as the candies that you need to do the trick or treat as well as the skin tickets. Gift Rush covers the 7 days event which is pretty similar to the mini SOTF that we usually do. So they have the chief power up. And the list of this, you can actually find the listing of daily tasks on my website. The website link is in the description box of this video. For the Doll of Frank, that is a 5 days event that usually coincide with your 7 days event. So I haven't really changed anything here for this uh, gift rush and then Doll of Frank is pretty the same guys. Every month, they don't change this. The only time that they are going to change is when for that 7 days event that they change some of the tasks, but that's it. Now, the last but not the least will be the Energy Bay, which is the newest one here. So the new one here is Energy Bay. This is equivalent to the Recycled Center, but they don't have a lot of items to exchange. So you only have your Elite Fragment, your Epic Fragment, your Legendary Fragment, and your Mercenary Influence. I mean, the first two, the Elite, as well as the Epic Hero Fragment are, you know, it can be usable if you don't use this. But I don't think anyone is going to exchange their Legendary Fragment as well as their Mercenary Influence. So for those, by exchanges, all these items, you can exchange them to Candy and then the Jack o' Lantern. The last one here is the Air of Surprise. This is just the listing of where you are going to get all the items that you need to win this one. The only place that you are going to get your HQ skin is by playing Trick or Treat, guys. That's that. Nothing more. 
this is a coverage of this event guys and for those who need the written version of this i will be posting it on my website today and for those who are asking if my website is still currently in private because i'm still fixing it i'm trying to move it to another hosting so that there will be a forum or those uh, players who wanted to be a part of that community can actually do forums in there as well if they are not active on discord if they are not on facebook but they are on website they can actually start forums or uh, some uh, community engagement as well there so bear with me guys so that's it for today and good luck for us next week and for those who are currently having this event good luck to all of you guys have a good day bye